All right, and now the person's been waiting the longest. Bill from Arlington, thank you for waiting. Uh, hey, guys. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. How are y'all? Good. What's up? So, uh, I don't know. There's a, a, I came across an a article recently by uh, uh, Harris. I, I know you guys know who he is. Sam Harris, yeah. yeah. Right. And uh, it's a, a, an article he wrote on uh, the use of drugs, but... Uh, kind of making a main point on the, the psychoactive or hallucinogenic drug. Sure. Do you, are you, are you, either one of you guys familiar with that article? I, I believe I read it. I haven't. But. Well, I mean, I, I just wonder what you thought about that, because he used some really strong language in there, uh, talk, kind of saying that, you know, talked about his two daughters and saying that if they didn't, you know, do LSD or psilocybin or something like that, that he felt like they'd be missing out on... Uh, like the most important uh, uh, rite of passage there was, or so something to that effect. I think I'd want to hear his actual words rather than something to that effect. Uh, okay. But, well, but, I, but, actually, but, I think he said uh, that he was afraid that they might be missing out on one of the most important uh, rites of passage of, of, of the human race. Yeah, I, what I was going to say is I'd want to see his actual words, but I'm okay with the idea that he probably said something like that. Um, and I don't necessarily see a problem with it. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, that, I, I guess. I mean, I, guess I, I, I would know. never phrase it as, oh, I really hope my kids get to have this because it's going to be the most important experience ever. Right. But, but if in the course of exploring the world, things that can be educational and eye-opening and enlightening, for which there is very little harm, I would like for people to be free to experience those. Um, I've taken LSD. I don't, you know, a handful of times, not, not anymore, not in ages. And it didn't provide me with any sort of uh, eye-opening awareness. Basically, it was sitting around with silly hallucinations and then getting bored of it and saying, holy crap, when is this drug going to wear off? And uh, I don't have 12 to 14 hours to kill anymore being high, so I wouldn't do it, you know, I'm unemployed and I wouldn't do it, you know, it's just crazy. Uh, it's, a waste, it's a waste of my time and I like my brain better when it's functioning correctly. But one of the ways I know I like my brain better when it's functioning correctly is because I've had experiences where my brain wasn't functioning correctly. And while I don't, I don't, I wouldn't encourage people to take psychedelic drugs for the purposes of finding truth, there may in fact be valuable experiences to be had. Um, provided you're you're not endangering your health or, and in some cases, breaking the law. And so like in yeah. te Texas, well, salvia, salvia divinorum is still legal, um, and it provides a, a very short-term uh, hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic effect. You can get it at head shops and stuff. Um, I freaking hated it because it just kind of knocked me on my butt. You hallucinate for 10 or 15 minutes, and then you're done, and you, and you get this kind of slow high fading away. Uh, I have no interest in doing that. But I'm glad that I did, not just because I think you should try everything to see if you like it, because I wouldn't recommend anybody spend their life high like that all the time. But it's, it's one of those things where this is a, a relatively harmless, it's, it's far more harmless than some of the things that are legal that we would permit them to do. It is, it is harmless? Well, I didn't say that it was necessarily completely harmless. I'm saying it's less harmful than some of the things that we allow them to do. Like, I'm, I don't care to smoke weed ever again in my life. I haven't smoked since I was a teenager, really. Um, but I'm in favor of legalizing it absolutely everywhere because I can't see any good reason why everybody should be able to get drunk at every sporting event and nobody can smoke a joint without going to jail. We're filling up our prison systems over stupidity. Right. Because here, I, I guess one of the things that got me is I know Harris is, the, the 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 brain that's kind of his area yeah and one of the and, one of the things about lsd that people have been lied to for years is uh unlike alcohol and some other drugs lsd doesn't kill off brain cells right it's not a physically addictive substance i don't encourage it i don't think that it should necessarily be legal but i'm not the arbiter of of all pharmaceuticals <laughs> okay i have one Would other I thing want. i wanted to ask you guys about sure um um, I'm up here, way up here in Arlington, but uh, sometimes I could come down to Austin, and I was looking at joining the ACA, and I looked at the, the, the only thing I had a problem with was kind of like the little oath thing. That, that kind of turned me off. The little oath thing. The, yeah. The declaration that you don't believe in a God? Well, 
the one of the things is do you support our work and what we do and I clicked that and then I got down and the other one was just almost too much kind of like what I'm trying to get away from you know making little declarative statements like that I don't know there's there's no oath we don't swear people in right well yeah you you have to be a non-believer is a really our only restriction and and uh I think you know, he's talking about the. There, there was the some concern at one time about about a lot of believers coming in and trying to take over the group, and that's that's what that's uh, about. Um, right, but I mean, why are they atheists? But if they, if if people were trying to dishonestly move in on the group, then that would hardly be a, a way to dissuade. Yeah, I mean, well, if they're already doing something dishonest. Well, the, you have a constitution and bylaws so that even if a bunch of believers took over, they would ha still have to be operating by those constitution and bylaws until they... Anyway, none of that's here and there. I think, here and there. I think you're talking about um, the list of position statements. Though, that's not an oath, and no member is required to agree with or support any of them. You're that's just what the marks. group is going to be working for. It's what we as a group decided we valued, things that are related to church-state separation. Um, but you can disagree with any or all of them, and I'm sure pe plenty of people do. We had lots of discussions about them. Yeah, because like, even like one of my, even like Sagan, you know, he kind of avoided kind of putting himself in that kind of box. That's and fine. I mean, that's that's a that's a decision you need to make for yourself. Yeah, but you, but I would have, I would have to do that to join though. Would right. have to do what to join? To click the thing that says I hereby say yes, sir. You you would have to yeah. You'd have to click the box that says you don't believe in God. If that's too difficult, <laughs> if that's too restrictive for you joining an atheist group, uh, you, you are definitely not uh, no, one no, no, no. for for our group. People have different opinions. No, 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 no. He, it's fine. I'm saying it's fine. I like this is the group, group for you. though. I like the show too. Cool. Thanks, Bill. Well, thank you. All right.